This video is going to show you how to register and apply for a Community Catalyst grant. After clicking on the Neighborly Portal link on the DHCD website, you will land on this page. You will need to register for an account if you have never used the DHCD portal before. If you have any technical issues at all, you should email the support email address on the front page. Technical support is available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You will get a response to your email within two hours. To register, click the Register button on the top and fill in the requested information. When you are finished, click Continue. You will then receive an email asking you to verify your email address, and then you will be able to log in. After logging in with the password that you just created, you will end up on the main page of the portal. The application for the Community Catalyst grant is the very first one on the list. Click it to start a new application. You must provide a name for the application. Please enter your organization's name as the name for your application. If you have any questions about the requirements or questions on the application itself, please email dhcd.ccg at baltimorecity.gov. If you have technical issues with the online application, email those to the support email on this page as already mentioned. Click to continue. As you go through the different areas of the application, you will be able to save at any time so you can return to your application. You can track your progress using the sections on the left-hand side. Because this application is a combined application for operating and capital grants, you may not need to complete all sections of the application. For this reason, we ask that you read the application guidelines thoroughly before beginning your application. You will want to stop at the bottom of each section and double check that you have filled in all required pieces of the application. Not all questions are applicable for all applicants, so pay attention. There are some questions that are required for all applications. The system will stop you from submitting your application unless you have completed those questions. However, ultimately, you are responsible for making sure that you have completed all applicable information for your specific application before submitting it. No late applications will be accepted. Some parts of the application allow you or require you to upload a file. There will always be a small upload icon in those areas of the application. Don't forget you can save your progress on any page and come back to it later. If you are only completing an operating grant application, then you will need to fill out all relevant questions in sections A, B, C, D, E, J, and K. If you are only completing a capital grant application, then you will only need to fill out all relevant questions in sections A, B, F, G, H, I, J, and K. If you are completing both on one application, you need to make sure you complete all relevant questions in all sections of the application. The Required Documents section, section J, has a list of the many documents required to meet threshold requirements for a complete application. In addition, each section of the application has required documents that must be uploaded. Please be very careful to double check the list in section J to make sure you have uploaded all relevant files before you, com you click complete and continue. Before you submit your application, you must digitally sign the certificate of compliance by reading the compliance statement and checking the box. You will enter your digital signature below the statement. If you are applying as a partnership or collaboration, you will need signatures from all applicant parties. In this case, there is a form that you can download from the application to collect signatures. You must upload the file here in this case. This is only applicable to partnerships or collaborative applications. When you have completed the entire application, the final page will show a complete and submit button. The system will ask you to confirm that you are ready to submit. Once you submit your application, you cannot reopen it, so make sure you are ready. You will receive a confirmation email after your submission is complete.